Today, I'm going to be opening up 100 secret keys in each of the secret spots around the Pet Simulator 99 map and seeing which ones generate the most profit or loss, I guess. In this video, we're going to figure out which of these spots is best so you guys know which spots you should be using your secret keys at. These secret keys are costing me over 33 million diamonds. So if you guys enjoyed this type of content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Every day I give away three exclusives to people that comment their Roblox username down below. You also get bonus points if you comment something nice as well. So if you guys didn't know, there are three spots that you can use your secret keys at. The first spot is here in the Enchanted Forest. The next spot is at the General Store in the Wild West plot. And then the third spot is the fairy castle, of course. So we're going to use a hundred secret keys on each of these spots. And then that way we're going to add up all of the stuff we get. And we'll be able to determine which spot you guys should be opening your secret keys at. Without further ado, I'm going to get right into it because it's going to take a long time to open this many keys. All right. So as you guys can see, my inventory is completely empty besides the 300 secret keys that we're going to be using. I have my box here with all my stuff in it. I'm going to take these two treasure potions just to help me. Hopefully, maybe it ups my chances at something good. We have no enchants, no potions. All right. So we're going to start here in the enchanted forest. We're going to open up our first key. There's a big chance that you just get rainbow poop from this one. So... So we actually got the fortune flags, which isn't bad. It's better than the treasure hunter. So we're going to select this over that. Still a big loss because these keys are 110,000 each. We're going to keep going and see if we can get anything good and maybe even break a profit. Probably not, but we'll figure it out. So we actually got a diamond six potion, which is close to breaking even, but still not. But we'll take it. It's definitely better than the boot or the rainbow poop. All right, so third time's a charm. We got a mini chest or a coin six book. So we're actually getting items at least. It's not the worst, but we're basically getting like half our money back on each of these. Uh, so we'll take the mini chest for this one. Hopefully we get better luck in the next one. All right, so this is our first one where we only got the rainbow poops or the boot. So we'll take a rainbow poop. That's my favorite, but... We got a crystal key, which is not that good. It's actually only a quarter of the price of the secret keys. So I'll take it. It's better than a boot, but oh, this is going rough. I think the max win for this area and all the other areas is actually the overload charm in here, which would be amazing. It still wouldn't get us profit, but it would be pretty awesome to get one of those. All right, so we actually got our first profit here, guys. We got the cocktail. Definitely like to see that we made a profit on at least one of these skis. Okay, so we got our second profit here. We actually got a Treasure Hunter 8 potion, which is worth about 133k right now, so that's pretty good. I'll definitely take that for our second profit. We are down very bad overall, so hopefully we clutch up with something else that's pretty good. Okay, so we got our third profit here. We actually got a daycare voucher. That is pretty good. 196k, so we basically doubled the price of our key. We will take that for show. Okay, you guys, we actually got our first big win here. We actually got a glittering charm, which I think is probably one of the probably one of the top three items you can get from opening these things. I would think it would be either it's probably the overload charm, then the diamond seven book, and then this. Unless maybe you can get the diamond shovel and the diamond fishing rod. But I think this is this is a really good win right here. 1.15 million worth. Maybe we should take the rainbow poop, actually. Nah, let's take the glittering charm. All right, so we're actually on our last key here, and we end with a mini chest. So we, I think we lost a lot on those 100 keys, but I'm about to tally it up and see what we got. 
All right, so shout out to the viewer who told me that I could just put everything in a box and it'll tell me exactly how much the stuff is worth so I don't have to go ahead and calculate everything. But the total we got is 3.31 million for about 11 million worth of keys that we opened. So that was a big L on the first one in the Enchanted Forest. But who knows, this could have been the best one. Maybe the, the rest of them are even worse. But we're about to find out. I'm going to head over to the Wild West area and we're going to get to open. Opening. All right, you guys, so we're here at the general store. We're going to go in. I actually have never been in here, so I'm experiencing this for the first time with you guys. All right, so we got to choose one. I always go for the right side. I don't know why. Hopefully, hopefully it brings me a lot of luck. I got the boot, so we could have got a critical books or a treasure potion, so we didn't lose out on much, but yeah, not a good first open. I'll fill you guys in as I get some good stuff, so I will see you in a second. All right, so we got a Treasure Hunter 7 potion. Not bad. I'll definitely take that. Oh, it's actually a bundle of three of them. Oh, we could have got a daycare voucher. I think that's one of the only things I've seen that would have actually been profit. So I, I think this place might be even worse than the Enchanted Forest. We got to wait till the end of the challenge to see for sure. So anything could happen at any moment. Maybe we get like a royalty charm or something crazy. All right, so this is our 50th key, and we have yet to profit on any of these in the general store yet, so this is not looking good at all. <laughs> all right, so we're finally done opening those keys. It took me about 30 minutes of recording to do that, and we got our new box. We actually got so close to the first amount somehow. We actually opened up one critical seven book and two tap power seven books, as well as some other cool stuff, as you can see here. But besides that, we still actually made less from this one than we did from the Enchanted Forest. So currently, the Enchanted Forest is in the lead for secret rooms that you should open. Now we're going to move on to the Fairy Tale Castle as the last secret spot. So we got exactly 100 keys left. Hopefully we can make more than 3 million on this. We're currently at about like 30% of what we spent. That is not good. We're going to need a lot of luck on this last one. As you guys can see, the best thing you can get here is a 1% chance at 50 crystal keys, which isn't bad. That's 1.2 million right there. With a 1% chance, we have 100 keys, so we should at least get this once, hopefully. And then obviously we want the 10 keys as well. That would be very good, but everything else is just garbage. I'm just happy you can't get the poop swirl or the boot from this anymore let's see what we get on our first spin okay so very good first spin actually we made a profit on our first spin we have 150,000 worth of crystal keys so not bad as i did with the other rooms i will update you as i get good things because this does take a while All right, so that was actually our best opening yet, but that was probably one of the most boring processes that I've had to do in Pet Simulator 99 since I've started playing. After recording that, I had to go to sleep because I was so tired. It took over two and a half hours of me just opening all these keys. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It took me so much longer than I thought it was going to. Just sitting here opening these things is not as entertaining as you might think it was, especially when you're losing so much money. But as you guys can see here, we had a total contents of 3.91 million from this opening. So actually the most profit we've made so far. We didn't once get the 1% chance at 50 keys. So that was very disappointing. And that's why I didn't show any of the clips of me opening all the keys. I also just didn't want this to be a super long video and waste your guys time. So it seems like the fairy tale castle is the best place that you should be opening your keys at, but there can be some variants if you get something like a royalty charm or an overload charm that would skew the results a lot. So you basically just have to hit like the best thing in those first two areas for them to be worth it. Cause if you don't, you're pretty much just out of luck for the people with zero luck. Like me, I would stick to the fairy tale castle or better yet, just sell the keys. They're just not worth it to open, but I thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment your Roblox username down below for the giveaway. And I will see you later. Peace out.